give, gave, given. To give, gave, given. I flew, flown. To fly, I flew, flown. Have you seen movie Wild Target from 2010, starring Emily Blunt, Davy Jones, Ron Weasley and Bilbo Baggins? I bet you have not. Actually, you haven't missed much. To be fair, the movie is not bad and it has an awesome cast of strong actors performing as good as they usually do, but that's it. Movie is okay, it's cute. Also, it is a remake. Remake of the French movie with the same name from 1993. Vous êtes qui? My name is Victor Ménard. I am 55 and I work as a professional killer. Would you like some tea? The reason why the later version was not that big of a deal is because they wanted to play it safe and appeal to the most audiences. As it often happens, the studio sacrificed the charisma and ambience of naive yet refined balanced dark comedy of which the original was. They copied scenes from the 1993 masterpiece using top names in the industry at that moment hoping for easy profits at the cost of the film's great soul and nature. The French version was able to maintain a fragile coexistence of dark satire, romance, humor and rich story within the body of the movie about the killer's job gone wrong and triggered the chain of events that completely reshaped the lives of all of the participants. I'm going to talk about the plot and the main characters of the original film, so there will be spoilers. If you would like to enjoy the movie and find out what happened by yourself, you can watch it for free as well as hundreds of other movies, shows and anime series at darkroom.film. I'll drop the link in the description. Now let's start. Meet Victor Maynard, a seasoned hitman. My name is Victor Maynard. I am 55, and I work as a professional killer. His reliability, principles, dedication and professional ethics made him the best man for the job, and even the highest price in the industry won't stop potential employers from hiring him. No one knows how he looks, where he lives or what he does besides the job. Man gets paid and provides the result. Things change when youngster by the name Antoine accidentally stumbles upon Victor during one of his assignments. J'ai rien vu, je vous jure. Je, je crois même j'ai déjà oublié votre nom. Victor Maynard. Instead of getting rid of an unintentional witness, Victor, considering his age, decides to make Antoine his apprentice and the heir to the profitable business. After this moment, everything in the life of stoic professional turns upside down. He gets hired by a mafia boss to eliminate Renee, a young, attractive woman who tricked the mobster into buying a renowned but fake work of art for an impressive amount of real money. Doesn't sound like a big deal for a professional like Victor. However, when he and Antoine get to work, it turns out the job is not as simple as expected. René, being a vivacious and audacious thief, is on a constant stealing spree. Her unnatural behavior, without the girl even realizing it, saves her from being assassinated during first encounter with Victor. While the man spends more time secretly studying René's ways and preparing next attempt, he gets completely blown away by her beauty, charm and unprecedented skill of stealing. Yes, he fails at his job again, unable to pull the trigger at the crucial moment. 
that raises concerns of the Mafia and Victor's capability to properly execute the task and they send the couple of their own to take care of the girl. Victor, on the other hand, realizes that the current fiasco drops a shade on his good name and threatens his whole business practice. He decides to finish the assignment no matter what, refund the fee to his employer to demonstrate goodwill and regain trustworthiness. If at this moment you ask what can possibly go wrong, the answer is everything. Our heroes reach the girl at the same time as the two Mafia hitmen. Right at the moment when the thug is about to execute Rene, Victor, influenced by another glimpse of the girl's charm, kills the mobster instead. When Rene realizes what happened, she uses Mafia money to hire Victor as her bodyguard. Newly formed team goes on the run and hide quest, while the enraged gangster dispatches a relentless hitman, who is Victor's main competitor to track them down. Victor Their adventure gets spiced up by the intimate tension within the trio. Also, an unexpected player enters the game, Victor's mom who simultaneously inspires him to finish the job and restore reputation while worried about his future as a single aging man, seeing Rene as a potential candidate for the case. This creates a cascade of hilarious, confusing situations, romantic endeavors, dangerous encounters, chases and shootouts, leading to a mindful yet logical finale. To be fair, 1993 Wild Target is not top of the line 10 out of 10 must watch bucket list movies of all time. Nevertheless, it is a solid, convenient, reliable 7. It doesn't try to be what it is not while maintaining a steady rhythm, keeps you entertained and engaged, it's capable of holding together a diverse mixture of genres without getting annoying, and leaves you with a good aftertaste. I wish there were more movies like this coming out these days, but Hollywood idealist filmmakers are busy ruining renowned classics. I guess that's why we dig through the archives, occasionally finding overlooked gems like this one. Good luck, have fun, and see you later!